Is it more deep-rooted than simply the failures of this government? Is it also a convergence of other factors that perhaps are outside the government's control, like, let's not forget, the collapse in commodity prices, the economic fallout of the pandemic lockdowns, the 70% fall in tourism after the 2019 bombings, the rising cost of fuel because of the war in Ukraine, and so on and so forth? So, Sammy, I think there are uh, multiple combinations, but at this moment, I mean, we are in crisis mode. The main reason where, why we have this crisis is purely due to the mismanagement of this government. Yes, there are the reasons, but the government had an indicator that we were heading down this direction. They could have taken steps what, way what before. Could they have done? Let, let me jump in here. I'm going to try and play devil's advocate to uh, present the government's perspective. What more could the government have done, though, when they've got all those other factors that I mentioned going on, from a war in Ukraine, the pandemic, the collapse in commodity prices? I mean, isn't there a limit to how much you can wave that magic wand when you're in government? Well, Sammy, let's start with one thing. The, the tax cuts that happened was in December 2019. There was information even at that time that that, that was not a smart move. Two and a half years later, there is now a slight realization that was a mistake. The policy in terms of the fertilizer ban that happened also early on, and there was information from experts saying this was not a smart move. Yes, we needed to transition to organic fertilizer, but you can't do these things overnight. So in, in a sense, the government promised so many things in 2019 and 2020 during the election cycles, but failed to deliver on their own promises, failed to listen to experts who are advising on measures that could have been taken, granted the pandemic raised unprecedented challenges, but this was in 2020. 2022, we are still grappling with some of the basic fundamental challenges. One of the other things I would say is the government's own decision um, to take back a lot of powers from parliament. So under the 20th Amendment, which was enacted in 2020, it's a very executive heavy government right now. And whereas if you had a uh, 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 a system where both the president and the parliament could work together. That would be also something that could have prevented or mitigated some of these things. So it's a very heavy, executive heavy, very powerful government, but they have failed to take very basic fundamental steps that they could have taken because the warning signs are very early on. So now it's right. a bit too late. 